Hello and welcome to Grok Trade. My name is Jerry Usher, graduate student of the Grok Mentoring Program. And today is Wednesday, January 26, 2011. And we're going to take a look at the V Newsletter Stock Report. Let me begin by uh, saying that I've been doing videos all week. And uh, I saved them. I, I upload, uploaded them to YouTube in a different account. And uh, therefore, not many people w were able to see them. So uh, instead of transferring them over to this account, I just thought uh, if you go to the our Grok Trade website, uh, freeonlinetradingeducation.com, that's tr uh, freeonlinetradingeducation.com, uh, you'll get a web page that looks similar to this. Okay, and off the home page here, if you click on the stocks tab, um, like so, you'll be able to see uh, yesterday's video. Also, if you click down here on expand, uh, you'll see all our videos, uh, all the analysts and associates here at Grok. And uh, let's see here. If you click on, on on that tab there, you'll have all the previous videos. So just if you want to catch up, I, I feel bad uh, messing that up on you. But uh, they're there waiting, so make sure you go and view them. Anyways, let's take a look at the S&P 500 today. You can see that we had a nice, uh, another bullish day. We are making a higher high and a higher low. Uh, we do have, uh, we, we did uh, successfully close back within this, these, tr these trend lines here uh, in this up channel. So that is good above the 20 day moving average. That is bullish as well. Um, so things are looking pretty decent here once again for the bulls. Now our stock that we've been uh, stocking this week here is the first one is Gentex, G-E-N-T-X. This is a daily chart and um, yeah if you happen to see that video from two and three days ago from Monday we had a nice bull pullback set up. It looked like that and we had a bull pullback set up. However we were underneath the 20 day moving average and earnings earnings are actually coming out here on Gentux uh, tomorrow Thursday the 27th um, always I, I, I was taught never to hold over earnings so um, because of that you know I did not uh, put an entry on this trade here if you look here this green line here was a possible entry area this bottom green line here would have been a stop area with a target up here now uh, yesterday uh, we had a bullish day, but we just missed the entry area. Again, though, I did not have my entry order set up because of earnings coming out. And uh, today, we are actually still uh, fighting with that 20-day moving average. You can see that we did make a higher high and a higher low. However, we have uh, an inverted hammer here. Um, not the best thing you want to see on an up leg. Uh, we might have potential for this guy to form a lower swing high and then again a lower swing low. If that's the case then we have a downtrend starting and this would lo no longer be a possible long. Again earnings coming out tomorrow. I'm just going to watch this guy and see what happens. Let's go ahead and take a look at Fossil. Fossil's a, a stock FOSL that we have been tracking for quite some time. You can see here I have this the remnants of a uh, bull flag here. These lines have been drawn over all these previous days, I mean, we're talking about a month, almost two months of tracking this stock, uh, waiting, patiently waiting for this to get above the 20-day moving average again, and also above this upper trend line. If we get a close above this, along with follow through the next day, confirmation, uh, that would be a breakout and that would be a buy signal. Um, so keep your eye on Falso. Now our bear stock that we've been tracking is Garmin, G-R-M-N. Looking at a daily stock, uh, daily chart here. And you can see that Garmin has been stuck in a symmetri symmetrical triangle. Uh, this line has been drawn there for quite some time. And look where we opened today, right at that line. Traded above it, only to close down below it. So once you learn how to draw these trend lines, they are a pretty amazing thing. Really, really... Um, uh, you know, amazing to, to see how these trend lines actually work out uh, nearly every day. So that is some cool stuff there. Um, we're waiting for a breakdown here. Uh, we need market confirmation to go bearish and we also need um, we need a close down below here and if we can get that we can have some nice follow throughs to a target range. 
uh, really we can possibly get all the way down there uh, knowing that we'd have a little bit of support here at each of these swings on the way down so Garmin's another one we're gonna we're going to um, just keep on our watch list and, uh, and track it and see how it ends up uh, turning out um, I hope you all had a great trading week and, and I'm glad that I'm back on the uh, main page here again so you all could uh, see these videos and uh, we'll have another video tomorrow night to end the week so have a great day tomorrow everybody.